Good evening. Rainfall warnings are in effect across the island at this hour and flooding concerns are rising in one island city. As heavy rains pour down on the Comox Valley, people are sandbagging and getting ready for the water's rise. Dean Stoltz reports. With the city of Courtney under a flood alert, crews are bagging thousands of sandbags in anticipation of significant flooding in the city Sunday morning. Warming temperature, high levels of precipitation, uh, large river flows, ocean surges coming up from the south. So it's a combination of burials plus uh, on top of that is some uh, very major winds. And uh, so if those combinations all come together at one time, that's where we can get into some significant flooding. This is the Puntledge River in Courtney, which is also fed by two other rivers just up from the city. And if history repeats itself, the water will overflow the banks here along the Old Island Highway and flow right through the parking lot in front of Bill Maximick's art store. He was flooded out once before in January 2010 and is resigned to it happening again. Just have to take it as it comes. Uh, hopefully the flooding won't be like before, but uh, as we're as prepared for it as we can be. He'll start building a sandbag berm in front of his store after closing it tonight. Geneva Tilsley is concerned the river came to within four feet of her doorstep last year. This time, she fears she won't be so lucky. I love my store. I don't want to see it ruined. You know, you're saying some of the hutches and stuff, $175, I mean, just tell me that. Oh, yeah, we have tea hutches, we have oak hutches, we have, um, you know, uh, they're $175, $125, $150. Well, if yeah, the no, water gets in, it's ruined. We can't put those in plastic containers. They BC Hydro is doing all it can to prevent flooding, but even it says Sunday will be close. It's not looking too good. So what BC Hydro is looking to do is shut down the Jerry station at Puntledge uh, to, to limit as much water as possible from leasing downstream at that sensitive time. So we really haven't been able to do that in the past, but that's because the reservoir has been so low, uh, given the cool and dry weather we've had leading up to this event. Elsewhere, parts of the city's river walkway are still closed because of damage done during Thursday's storm. It could look even worse on Sunday. High tide is at 7.44 a.m.